And there they go from the outside, Richard Breath and Tony Havana go out looking for the top. Now racing up Laurie Hovatter and H.F. Nancy in the clubhouse turn they go. And as they make their swing, they battle early for the lead. H.F. Nancy along the rail headed and mount back on the outside. Tony Havana with Richard Breath are in the back stretch. John Lanigan got away racing third with Targo Hanover. And the early trailer, Chip Kulik with Fiddler's Fun. They travel down for the opening quarter mile. And they clock there in 30 and two fifths. Into the far turn they go the first time. And as they make that swing out there fronting the field, it's Tony Havana with Richard Breath, a length and three quarters. Laurie Hovetter sitting second with HF Nancy. John Lanigan still third with Targo Hanover. And Chip Cooley can see them all with Fiddler Spawn there in the lane. And they're coming down to the halfway point of the race. No change in on top. Cutting that fast early pace. Tony Havana with Richard Breath over here a length and a half. Blocks to 103. They go into the clubhouse turning that payoff half mile. Laurie Hovetter sitting second still with HF Nancy. Still biding his time. John Lanigan with Targo Hanover. And waiting to make his bid. Tony Havana with Richard Breath. They turn into the back stretch now and head to the three quarter mile mark. Opening up now with a margin of two and a half on the field is Tony Havana with Richard Breath. Now up on the outside, making his move. Here comes Chip Kulik with Fiddler Spawn. Goes roaring right up looking for the leader. They're at the three quarters and 135 and one. On the turn heading for home, Tony Havana, Richard Breath. Can feel the heat is tightening down in a hurry now. Comes Chip Kulik with Fiddler Spawn. Further back, battling for that trailing spot, John Lanigan and Laurie Hovetter. They're in the top of the lane. And as they turn for the wire, they set up for a battle, bringing them down on the inside. It's Tony Havana with Richard Brothers now fighting to hold it. Tony goes to the whip, is roaring on the outside. Chip Kulik with Fiddler's fun, and there they both are. And two, six, and two. Returning to the winner's circle will be your race winner. Number four, Tony Havana and Richard Breath. And bringing back to the winner's circle, victorious in the first annual Battle of Magic 105.7. Number four, Richard Breath, driven by Tony Havana. Assisted tonight by Ken Holliday. And after the customary winter circle festivities, standing by trackside to have a word with Tony Havana will be our own Dave Bianconi and from the Ohio Lottery, Paul Tapier. Down to the winter circle, I'm joined by uh, Paul Tapier, of course, of, of the host of Ohio Lottery Cash Explosion, which obviously isn't coming to you live tonight, huh, Paul? Uh, no, it's all on <laughs> tape. Thank goodness. So I could be here for the Battle of Lake Erie and to watch our WMJI Magic 105 personalities get good and dirty so they can sit up in the clubhouse and say, they didn't tell me I was going to get mud all over myself <laughs> and they invited me here. But, of course, it was all for charity, and Tony uh, Havana, uh, weekend on-air personality from uh, Magic uh, 105.7, gets uh, $1,000 for the Jimmy and April Malone Scholarship Fund. Uh, pretty exciting race there, Tony. You held on in a photo finish. It was great. It was fantastic. Kenny's the man. What advice did uh, Kenny give you at the start of the race? Shut the hell up and hold on. <laughs> that sounds like the Ken Holiday I know, too. Here, go ahead, Paul. Ask me, if, uh, Tony, a few questions. Uh, uh, Lanigan's going to be eating crow for about how long, uh, Tony? Yeah, until I decide otherwise. All right. Well, we do have some nice trophies for you, the winner, and for our runners-up, Lori Hovatter and John Lanigan, and, of course, Chip Kulik. Now, Chip's excuse probably is he lost too much weight. <laughs> that could be. They tell me uh, the little more you have in your back pockets around here, the better your horse runs. Well, that's true, and we should mention again that uh, this is money, Charity going to the Jimmy and April Malone Scholarship Fund. And, of course, uh, it's not that Jimmy was chicken and couldn't make it here tonight, but he had to cover the Browns pregame show. So, But it's a great cause uh, that Jimmy and April have set up, and uh, we're glad that you all could participate. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. On behalf of Jimmy. All right. Well, we'll, we'll try to get you cleaned up so you'll be acceptable enough to go up in the clubhouse. All right. And we're really pleased that nobody had to wager on this event either. <laughs> nobody in their right mind would. Go 
Yeah, he might need that later on. All right, here comes the rest of our, uh, well, not exactly winners. But they are winners because they're, they're all going to have uh, a trophy and $200 a piece donated to the Jimmy and April Malone Scholarship Fund. Here comes Lanigan. Give him a big round of applause, folks. John Lanigan and Chip Kulik and Lori Hovetter from WMJI's Morning Show. And Lanigan, uh, your trophy, your $200 towards the Jimmy and April Malone Scholarship Fund. I think it's because... Kulik was in your way, am I right? No, our horse was slower. That's what was wrong. It didn't run as fast as the other horses. That's what my driver said. We have a slow horse. Well, we noticed the liberal use of the whip there by Tony uh, in the backstretch. Uh, do you have some practice doing this? No, sir, but I'm going to have to start. You got good results. All right. Uh, John, I'm sorry you got so dirty. No, it was really, you get used to that. I'm just glad nothing else happened from that end. Now, it's been a while since you... <laughs> it can. <laughs> That's why I didn't hit him too much, because I know she could get even. Now, now Chip, we thought maybe because, uh, you know, the physician's weight loss thing, you know, you'd be a little right. faster around the track. Well, that did, uh, that did help the, the uh, horse there, but I knew I was in trouble when I walk in, and the guy says, all right, Grandpa, and that's the name of the horse. Yeah. Well, you well, did... Was, you, now, Lanigan should have had Grandpa. Now, you, you did know what Tony's horse's name was. I'm not even going to repeat it. In the yes, minute. okay, I'm, that's good. And Laurie, uh, part of the uh, news department at uh, WMJI in the morning, how long have you been on, uh, on the morning with Chip now and John? About 15 months. About 15 months. Only girl working with, like a only girl working with uh, five, five guys, four guys. So. And uh, it was really, you know, being a longtime listener and uh, participant actually on John's show from time to time, uh, you were welcomed into the men's club then. Oh, yes, right. <laughs> Well, you guys sound great in the morning. It's hysterical. I, you know, we really appreciate that you're coming out here tonight to get a little dusty for the Jimmy and April Malone Scholarship Fund and Magic 105.7. Let's give them all a big round of applause here. The WMJI All-Star Celebrities racing tonight and going to a good cause. We appreciate it. All right, go get cleaned up, folks. Have a good time. Battle Lake Erie, as you saw the track just from the celebrity race, Dave, um, this really promises to be one of the fastest Battle of Lake Erie's ever. Yeah, I have to agree with you, Paul. Perfect weather conditions, and if uh, Richard Breath can go a 206 mile with uh, two people in the sulky, I think we're in for a, a night of great racing. Still about 20 minutes till first race post time, and uh, special thanks again from all of us here at Northfield to the folks from WMJI and to you, Paul Tapia, as well. Thank you.